it's predicted by 2050 that there will be an approximately 60% increase in the worldwide demand uh, of energy. You know, this increase of demand, is, is, it's powering the applications that have become so foundational to our society, not, not only today, but into the future. Key applications such as 5G communication, which is going to provide high bandwidth, ubiquitous cellular connectivity across the globe. Data centers, which are the backbone of cloud computing. Electric vehicles, which, which hold the promise of reducing worldwide CO2 emissions. And let's not forget our industrial infrastructure and the overall push to renewable energy. All of these systems are becoming more efficient, cleaner, and overall more configurable. There is one common thread through all of these applications, the need to create a more sustainable solution that consumes less energy. And really, power semiconductors are central to that goal. It's predicted that 5G communication networks could consume up to 50% more power uh, than the current infrastructures that are in place today. Grid capacity, cabinet dissipation approaches, as well as power distribution networks are all going to be challenged. In particular, as these systems move to more highly parallel approaches, such as MIMO, higher integrations and lower noise solutions are going to be needed. If you look at these systems, heat and electrical noise are really the enemy of small size. Reducing the overall noise of the system really provides two major benefits. One, lower noise systems require less shielding. Less shielding means less weight and smaller size but also less electrical interference really provides a more robust communication link, which is of critical importance because many of these 5G applications are mission critical and always on. Data centers are one of these behind the scene markets that are really driving cloud computing. Businesses and consumers are demanding access to all of their data wherever they are. If you look at these data centers, they must securely store and process all of this cloud data. Cooling and electricity costs continue to be a significant part of the operational expense of running a data center. So that always makes a constant re-examination of, of all of the thermal and power management techniques that are employed. These data centers, they contain densely packed racks of boards that need to operate at peak efficiency. If you look at the challenges within those boards, you need to have a complex power solution that can deliver up to a kilowatt of, of power to these next generation processors. When I look at the innovations in power, they, they typically follow four primary vectors, higher efficiency, but also equally important is smaller size, lower noise, and better system intelligence. Better system intelligence means that we are effectively better managing and controlling the power system in order to drive to peak efficiency. But all of that technology is, is just a starting point. You know, we have to make it easier for power systems designers to bring these innovations to the market so we can reach that goal of a sustainable future.